I'm Joseph Lopez in Miami Pan. Right behind me here is this, this is stone. Actually, it's a history from the Maya whereby they written on the stone they call the Stella. Apparently, it's a big, huge rock. These are the Maya significance of their culture. It's a big rock in Maya Mopan. Joe Lopez is in Maya Mopan. It's a big rock here. Woo! Hey! This is the history of the Maya, brother. This is the stellar whereby these people are written they have their languages on rock. Maya Mopan. Woo! History is repeat itself. Joe Lopez in Maya Mopan. Peace. Okay, so um, good morning, Mr. Lopez. Welcome to my open. I'm personally the chairman of my open. Um, my open has a population of over 800 people, and our and our culture is Mopan Maya. We we come from the Toledo district. Um, our source of living is we are planting citrus organic cacao and our ladies are also working with, with the banana farm, the citrus industry and the little embroidery they are doing. We have a very rich culture and we are very we are a close neighbor with Judge Tong and we have a very good relationship with the village and I'm very happy to, to have me here to share some of my ideas and what my village needs and as the village chairman I am very successful to get projects from NGOs and part of it from, from the um, government. And I do wish that everything is going well, although we are in a hard time of this year, but when we work together, when we unite together, we, we, we get everything that we need. So right now, I'm on a project right now to help the citrus growers to, to have their farm road building because this is the high season of the um, citrus reaping and we do need and we are going to approach the Ministry of Work to try give us a little hand to try upgrade our um, culverts, our feeder roads, especially the farmers from the cacao. We need this little help although we know that the government cannot give us everything but we in Maimopan always have a very united and cooperative as we work together. Right now, I'm embarking on a project of my preschool with the assistant of the, the, the Belize Energy Trust Fund. And I'm very, very happy that these NGOs recognize the, the, the importance of education for the our younger generation that, that are coming. And without education, we cannot uplift our, um, ourselves, our community, and our country. So, that's why I'm very here. I'm very happy that Mr. Lopez, I met you here, and I just hope that you keep up the good job and go to every community in Stank Creek District or in the entire country. But I don't know, funding is very hard, but with, with the little bit that we have, I think we, should, we could benefit more. And the beauty of my Pan is it's a very friendly community. We have a rich culture, we have a waterfall, we have a Maya ruins, and this is the potential that we are trying to work and on the upcoming event we are trying to get with Jared Stone to try to put on tourism project that because the Garofana have a rich culture and the Maya got a rich culture so I don't see why we cannot come together to build a one big operation so that we as Belizean has no was no um, division. We always come and unite together, and I just hope that we understand each other and make it work with the NGOs, the private sector, the government, the youth, and what everything that Belize have to offer. We must try to work together, and understand each other. So I think that's most most best that I could do. And I thank you, Mr. Lopez, for coming in my village, and I'm very happy to give you yes, my welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Morning, um, and Mr. Lopez, Joe Lopez, mm -hmm. and Mr. Chiak. The chairman of Mayamopan village mm -hmm. he has explained the situation of his village here. But I'll be around with Mr. Chiak to know the village and be part of his culture. Joe Lopez in Belize. Peace, love, yeah, unification yeah. is the key. 
Mr. Thank Chair, you. thank you very much, my man. Sure, I'm going to show you to see the foul. Yes. Anytime. Joe yes. Lopez in Belize. Yes. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hey, good morning. It's 11 January 2013, Georgetown Village. I'm Joseph Lopez from Dangriga, interacting and socializing with my Garifuna brothers and sisters from Georgetown. Joe Lopez in Belize. Garifuna goes. Just enjoy the clip of Georgetown. No matter way. Hey, Baba Rakata Yata. Baba Yisini. One love. Joe Lopez from Georgetown Village. Peace. Joe Lopez, Georgetown. See the taxi man from Georgetown. What's your name, Brad? Katabiri? I'm Mr. Ogales. Mr. Ogales. Yes, man. The taxi man from GT. OG. Bolas. Bolas. Gada, they call it Al Qaeda. A Rootsville. A Rootsville. Yes, I. Hello, I'm Joseph Lopez from Georgetown. I'm with four students here who want to tell me the live acquisition about the school in Georgetown. My dear, let me hear your voice in Georgetown. Hi, my name is Anissa Pop. I'm from Independence Village. I attend Jackson Technical High School. This is a lovely and wonderful school. Okay. My name is Maria Lopez. I'm from Nigeria. Georgetown Tech is a very interesting institution. It helps the students learn a lot. We can always rely on our teachers, principal, and also other students for help. Our environment is a very clean and healthy environment, and we tend to make big success out of everything. Oh, thank you. Hi, my name is Brittany Garo. I'm from Independence Village. Um, I attend Georgia Technical High School. I believe it. Um, we, the student, believe that Georgia Technical is the best school down south. Um, we learn a lot. The teachers are great and everybody, everyone interacts with each other very well. Oh, that's nice. Hi, my name is Whitney Garbo. I'm from Independence Village. I'm just a technical high school student. We communicate with each other a lot. The teachers help us and push us so that we can work for what we want to achieve. And we have a healthy environment and we want to do it that way. Okay, thank you. I'm Joseph Lopez from Georgetown Technical High School. Actually, who inaugurated the school for you all? Who want to go to school? Who? The European Union. Okay, there. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Georgetown Technical High School, Joe Lopez in Belize. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Okay, bye bye. When you get there, but can you bring us? Yeah, come here with you. Hey, I'm Joe Lopez in Independence Village. I'm with my brother here displaying his seaweed. Explain to me something, my brother, about the seaweed business. Yes, man. Seaweed, I'm in the business like about seven years. Try to make it the best way I could. Yes. Okay, brother. Tell me more, tell me more. My independence or whatever. Okay, brother. Yeah, the seaweed man doing his thing, Independence Village. Joe Lopez, Independence. Mango Creek, live. Roots. Yes, man. Good morning, I'm Joseph Lopez in Georgetown Village. I'm with an elderly man known as Mr. Martinez. He's very instrumental with the Garifuna roots and culture. I'm going to hear his voice concerning the roots and culture in Georgetown Village. Roots! Roots, roots, how are we? We're going to get down and let Yawa be. In fact, this year we're going to have about 50 years. Yeah. I'm going to read you again. Same day. Maybe we're going to have 13th of May, two times. We're going to have about Denise and you. I'm going to read you. Yeah, same day. No, I had a gun over Yeah. Yeah. Up to now, I hear youths are here about me. They are, they may be good. They are like, they are like, they are they are like, they are like, they are like, Young 
Joe Lopez in Georgetown Village. Mr. Martinez, the elderly Garifuna man from Georgetown Village, he's explaining the situation concerning the youths in the village. Apparently, they are saying he's saying sorry, he's saying that they don't want to go to the farm. There is a lot of vast farmland in the area and nobody wants to go to the farm. Apparently it seems that the culture is diminishing. Roots and culture, Joe Lopez, Georgetown Village. Hello, I'm Joseph Lopez in Georgetown Village. I'm with the LED Garifuna guy from Georgetown, Mr. Martinez is very active and is well known in the environment, likewise in St. Bike Village. Mr. Martinez, you want to say some more? Yeah. 
Good morning, I'm Joseph Lopez in the village of Georgetown. I'm with the chairman of Georgetown. He's going to give me an explanation concerning the culture in Georgetown. Roots, culture, Gadinago, one love, Abbe Yisini. I'm Domingo Valero, chairman of Georgetown from 2010. My year is coming up. But actually, the culture here in Georgetown is being revitalized. Um, we have been emphasizing on the Wanaragua, and along with the Wanaragua, we have a few students who, we, um, were, who I had asked Mr. Luis Norales to teach them some songs, and presently they are all up in, in twos with the songs. We took part in the Habina Wanaragua twice, two years consecutively, and uh, the first year when we took part, we came in second. This year, well, we're in the top six, all right? And then these guys who, there are a few guys from St. Right who came in and assist me with the Wanaragua dance, which is Neville Lopez and Leonard Williams. These guys are very, very instrumental in bringing back this culture in Georgetown. For the New Year's, we took part in House to House with the Wanaragua and uh, we were very, very, um, it was very, very profitable and it shares the, we shared the fun with the students and uh, they were so motivating in, in, in that dance. So, Mr. Lopez, I'm glad that you came in and interviewed me and uh, hats off to you. Thank you very much. 
I'm Joseph Lopez in the village of Georgetown. I'm interacting and socializing with my Garifuna friends and friends. Roots and culture, ABSNE, one love, Joe Lopez in Georgetown village. Roots, Georgetown. <laughs> I'm Joseph Lopez in the village of Georgetown. I'm interacting and socializing with my Garifuna people. Roots Abia Iseni Garinagu. One love. Well, I'm Therese Norales. I'm, I'm originated from Dangriga, but uh, I used to live in St. Bite. Then, um, when Georgetown was about to establish, we were the first group of people that did St. Bite to come down here. So right up, to, right up to this present, and I'm still living here. But uh, when the time for the Garifuna stuff to take part, I usually take part. I used to take my candidate to Dangriga. I used to do whatever I can do. We beat our drums here, we celebrate it, and so on and so on. But as time goes by, I went to, when I was, the only time I don't take part, I uh, went to, down, um, to New York, I stood there about uh, two years. Then after I came back home, well, uh, I did a little, but it wasn't like w before. Because from there, when I came from there, I started feeling this knees on my, pain on my knees. So there we are, I kind of smoothed down right up to now. But uh, wherever, if anybody would need my presence, will just, just like what you are doing now, Thank you. I can still recall it back and try to explain the way I used to handle it. Okay, there. Yes. So, my last taking part in the Garifunas thing, I think it was, mm -hmm. okay, 1988. Okay. So from then, I used to do, do whatever I can as a Garifuna that is so proud of our culture. And right up to now, although I'm in this situation, I'm so sorry that I cannot did it, do anything like before. But like in your case now, if you came here to me and I can still speak, I can grieve out some of it for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, one time for okay. <laughs> okay. So at this moment, okay. last year, Okay. 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 So when I do conscious, So right now it's bothering me. Oh man. Maybe I have to wake up two, three times for the night. Okay. So no beef. like I try this legally. Uh huh. Oh. So. Sorry, I get it. Lost your land and be part of the culture. But damn it, let no get dinner. I don't want to make a Okay. As a Garifuna lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Joseph Lopez interacting with my Garifuna roots and culture in Georgetown Village. I'm with a vital lady known as Miss Norales. Apparently, she told me that when she was younger, she was very active in the Garifuna festivities. She normally takes the other time the Garifuna Queen to Dangriga and different environment where the Garifuna goes maintain their culture. Roots and culture, Joe Lopez, Georgetown Village. One love, Abbey Isini. Roots. Sereme. Sereme. <laughs> hey. Roots and culture. Oh, yes, yes. yes I. The Garifuna goes, they are very happy in their village and they are very united. One love, peace, Joe Lopez. George on village. Yeah. George Tong village. Country style. To a go big it around. Okay, we go. I'm 
Ocean Style, George Village. Joseph Lopez in the beautiful village of Georgetown. I'm interacting with my Garifuna people, roots and culture. I'll be eating the one love, Joe Lopez, Georgetown village. Now here, Carmela Martinez. I've been living in Georgetown since birth. I'm a Georgetown girl. And I have my family living here with my kids and today what I am seeing and happening in my village as a Garifuna community is that the language is going down not many families speak Garifuna especially the younger mothers they no longer speak Garifuna to their kids so the kids do not answer back, they don't know how to reply, but majority of them understand Garifuna, especially the ones living with their grandparents. That's the basic thing that is going down here, and the food is also one, because the kids no longer want to eat the main dish, the hudut. So we're working on that. We're trying to uplift the Garifuna language back in Georgetown. As an NGC member of Georgetown branch, we're trying to bring back the culture. So when we had 19 celebration, we usually have the Garifuna dishes and they're bringing back in the schools. The schools usually have a cultural day whereby they present the Garifuna dishes and they give the children them to enjoy and other kids who are attending school here in Georgetown. On the 19th day, we usually have the Garifuna dishes, as I've said before. The only other dish that we would prepare other than the Garifuna dish is the rice and beans. So we have different food. We usually prepare the darasa, we have the hudu. And we also make some porridges. We have sahel that is common here. Well, most of the kids, almost all, they even know how to make the sahel. So that's something that goes on here very frequently. They make it a lot. We have the gungude, and we have 
lettuce, we call it lettuce, that is made from ripe banana with the coconut milk, and we created a little ginger in it. Gwele, I want half a boa, can you get a boa, no gege, and this is a big girl from the one, look at the little mug and you get a boa, boa, yeah, I did a girl from the council, the branch. Either way, well, remember when you were having a wafie, lau warasa, okay, garino, yeah, did a little wagira. We the hay, no baiti, no gay gay, neither hay, how is anibo. We have a be amo, ha, yeah, by ya, it's a good no little flasso. No. Where go bela where are you? Where are you to ma? Let the wagay say a good people. Give it to upset why ha. Soon we are you going lay. About to upset the wabulay to me. I gave what? Mamma, we are. Either I'm a gay rule, let the upset low. You say, but voila, the way have a la ha, am. I may no more to take a lay, booty hamuga low. Why have a la lay? Soon lay was wavy. I need a little way, Wabuda honey lead idea. The little lay honour, loom at last, lamb, lawansero, carefuna. Ya, whatever, ya, but this way, whether a fire of war, they get gibbet my lobby, as you say, do to go and let the gubrio, let the government libe, what sell why he has so. I have made a bridal bay, do you look where I be la wafago? Woe, what can Garino, ya, but this. Joe Lopez, Roots and Culture, Georgetown Village, Abbey Isini, One Love, Peace. Joe Lopez from Georgetown Village.